Uh, you know, you know, meant a lot to me. Obviously, uh, last year I, I was more of a cheerleader. <laughs> you know, cheerleading uh, a lot of the guys last season. Uh, and uh, this year I got, got a chance to come in early in the game, and you know, I was just fortunate enough to go in a good situation and get the job done. Uh, but uh, you know, I've been waiting for that that time for a long time now. To your left, Dylan, Dave. Dylan, you, you guys aren't really considered, but the, Yan the Yankees aren't really considered underdogs very often. But you're playing against the Red Sox team that was, you know, 108 games and considered the best team in the league. What, what, what's that like for you guys? I mean, it, do you like being kind of that team that, that's? Do you see yourselves as an underdog, or how do you look at yourselves going into a series like this? Oh, uh, you know, I, I don't see, I don't see ourselves as an underdog. I mean, huh? You know, obviously Boston had a tremendous season. Uh, trem they have a tremendous team, and you gotta, you know, we respect them, and I feel like you know they, they respect us as well. Obviously, uh, you know, for the past two weeks, it's probably the first time we've had our team healthy, fully healthy. Uh, so it's fun. You know, we've been playing good baseball, and we'll try to continue to do so in this uh, series. Stay right there, Anthony. Dylan, uh, Gary Sanchez's defense behind the plate was focused going into the wild card game. You seem to do well last night. Do you, how much confidence does that give you in him? Uh, you know, behind the plate. Well, I mean, I've never lost confidence in Gary. Uh, you know, I feel comfortable pitching to him, and you know, so do a lot of the guys in there. So, as a team, we never lost confidence in him. Uh, you know, obviously there was a lot of talks, but you know, we know the type of guy he is, the type of catcher he is, and. Uh, you know, he could impact the game on both sides, and, uh, you know, it's a luxury to have a guy like him. Other questions? We'll get you the microphone. You pitched so well last night in a critical situation. I knew you grew up as a student of the game, loving baseball. I mean, to be a part of Yankee lore is, is pretty special. Any memories? I know it's a tense time of the year, but any memories of, you know, thinking back to when you were a kid? This is a, such a fun time of the year, too. Memories, did it harken back any, any, any memories uh, as a kid watching, you know, MLB playoffs, especially last night, a, a big moment like that for you? Uh, for me, I mean, what I'll say is probably – as, at this point, that's probably one of the, my biggest highlights of my career. You know, I've gotten the chance to watch a lot of great games. Derek Jeter's final game, Mariano's uh, breaking the, uh, well, Mariano doing what he does, his final game. Uh, I've gotten a chance to uh, watch and witness a, a, a lot of great games as a Yankee. But for me, that would probably be my biggest highlight. Uh, you know, obviously, I can't compare to, you know, something that I've watched as a fan, but, you know, I'll put that as my number one for right now. Yeah, Brendan. Where are things at with the finger right now, and how are you managing that? I'm all healed up. Uh, I think uh, Steve Donahue, uh, Mike Shuck, and uh, Tim, or Lentic, our, our trainers, have done a tremendous job of trying to figure some things out uh, right now. It's all healed up. Uh, you know, I just got to make sure uh, I don't get myself again. Uh, Dan? What are the challenges that this lineup, uh, this Boston lineup presents, especially, you know, Betts, Benintendi, and uh, and Martinez? It seems like those three guys have really hit, hit you guys hard this year. They got a tremendous lineup, uh, one through nine. Uh, they're a tough team, a uh, tough, tough team to kind of strike like they, they don't strike out as much as uh, some other teams do uh, they got great great approach they're well prepared you know I think Mookie at the top uh, you know is a guy that if he gets on uh, he kind of sets the tone for the rest of the guys so you know they're well prepared you, you got to kind of come with your A game every time you face them and uh, that's what we'll try to do anything else for Dylan uh, we'll wrap up with Mark Tell him, just go back to last year. What did you learn from that experience last October and September and October, and how did that help you this year and especially now? Uh, biggest thing for me, uh, just kind of mindset-wise, just kind of be prepared for any situation. Obviously, uh, last night was either when to go home, and you know I wasn't ready to go home yet, uh, so. Um, I learned a lot last year watching Chad Green come in a situation and get out of it and kind of give our, our team a chance, a breathing chance to come back and, and score some runs in that bottom half. 
David Robertson last year. I think he went for three innings. Uh, you know, I got the chance to talk to him before the game yesterday. So, you know, watching those guys, I felt like uh, kind of helped me prepare for that situation. And uh, Boone also gave me a heads up before the game that if kind of came down to a similar situation, I would be in the game. And I think that uh, just kind of gave me more confidence that, uh, you know, uh, that I'm being brought in, in a situation like that with the middle, middle of the order. So, you know, it made me feel better out there. Yeah, so Tarpley and CC uh, will take the place of Wade and uh, Higashioka. Uh, no lineup yet. Um, uh, Jay Happ will pitch tomorrow. Tanaka will go in here too. Other questions? Beyond your home run back in 03, what do you remember about that, that week, the intensity? And I'm curious, did you watch the 04 LCS time? I think I watched quite a bit of the 04. Um, um, obviously, uh, you know, remember to some degree the, the comeback and everything, but, you know, don't remember it more like a normal uh, postseason that you kind of, kind of watch casually. Um, the, the week of 03, I'm asking. Um, you know, I remember when I it kind of shaped in my mind that uh, momentum I kind of threw out the window. In, in this Cause it, it felt like every time, you know, obviously in, in those years, both teams were so good and one team would kill the other team one day and think, oh, here we go. And the next day, just the other team would answer back. In a lot of ways, you know, our series this year during the regular season has played out a little bit that way. Um, there's been some lopsided gains. <clears throat> um, obviously, they beat us up here um, this summer in that four-game series, but otherwise it's been a little back and forth like that. Uh, Brian, Ken, that's Aaron, what do you think? Jay Hoff has had a lot of success against the Red Sox. What do you think it is about him that allows him to succeed against that team? Um, well, I mean, Jay's a really, really good accomplished pitcher, um, but ultimately it comes down to, especially for him because he's, you know, relies so heavily on the fastball, the ability to command it, um, the ability to, you know, especially when you're as, as a left-handed starter where you know you're going to be facing a lot of right-handed hitters, uh, when you pitch with your fastball, you've got to be able to get it in. Um, he's able to do that. Um, He's able to elevate it. Um, you know, he's got that little bit of life on his fastball that plays up a little more, especially when he's locating it. Um, so I would say that's the biggest thing is he can command and repeat uh, pitches with his fastball to, to some good right-handed hitters. Left hand, Dave. You had a good season with the uh, 100 wins, and do you think this right now is kind of the best version? of the team that you've had over the course of the whole season just because of the health factor and adding McCutcheon and the bullpen being ready? I mean, you could say that it's kind of peaking at the right right time. Yeah, I mean, we, we feel really good about where we are. And, you know, for, especially for much of the second half, obviously dealing with different injuries and guys being down. Um, you know, it's arguably as whole as we've been all season long. And, and, at, and with the additions that we're able to make, we feel like uh, – we're a really good club right now. Um, you know, we we played pretty well down the stretch the last week or ten days or so when we needed to play well, and obviously got off to a good start. Um, you know, last night, um, but I, I think the guys are in a good place, are in a good frame of mind, and, and are playing with some confidence. Do, do you think one last one? Do you think that playing that extra game can actually help in some ways in kind of energizing a team before the series? It's always looked as a hindrance. I just wanted to kind of win you guys had last night. Yeah. I, look, I think there's a benefit in playing. The fact that, you know, that final week of the season, you know, we're still playing for a lot. And, and playing against tough competition and going to Tampa and having to deal with them and then having to come here um, and then playing, obviously, a winner go, go home last night where, where there's a lot on the line. Um, um, I think there is some benefit to that. Um, being in those games, playing in meaningful games, playing with a lot on the line each and every day. Um, hopefully that's something that serves us well.
about Tim right there. I can't remember a time you would put with talented teams like this in the American League playoffs. Just each each to win the World Series, and I think no one would be surprised. But only one of those franchises has 27 World Series. Is it one of those years where it's World Series or bust for you guys? Is the season a failure if you don't win the World Series, or given the circumstances and the talent around you? Right. You, you know what? I, I don't even define it like that. You know, at the end of all this, I'm sure we'll look back and reflect on a lot of things, and, and hopefully, you know, we're doing that at the end of the month. But right now, you're just kind of living it, and, and in the grind of it, and in the preparation of it each and every day, and each and every series. Um, I'm certainly aware, as, as I'm sure all the other teams are, of any of these teams are capable of being great and, and capable of doing some special things. So. Um, but you also relish that. You, you know that you've got to be at your best if you're going to win a series against any of these teams remaining in the American League. So, um, but what it all means and defining this and that, again, that's something I'd, I'd leave to you guys and something that's for reflection when, when, when it's all over. Given Abdel and struggled down the stretch last year and at the beginning of this year, how important was it to get him back to being his old self? And how much do you think last night helps him be able to come in and do what he did in a, in a game, in a winner of a home game? Well, as I talked a lot early in the season, even when he had a couple of hiccups, um, I felt like he was in a really good place uh, mentally um, and just just with his delivery and how he was throwing the ball. And, and that manifested itself during the season. Um, it's huge for us because he's so talented. Um, you know, he's he's capable when he's on top of his game of, of dominating really good hitters. And obviously him, you know, with what he went through last year, um, for him to go out last night and kind of be the first man out of the pen in a huge situation and come in and just be on point and dominate um, is hopefully something that will be a little springboard for him into this postseason. I know um, I'm proud of the effort that he gave, but I'm not surprised either because I feel like he's been in a really good place um, really all season long for us. Cool. Uh, given that this is Giancarlo's first postseason, when he has a moment like that last night, what can that do to springboard him as he gets going into the rest of the postseason? Yeah, we've seen his, <clears throat> I, I think is that bad quality over the last week, 10 days really tick up too. Um, you know, he's been, he's been taking his walks. Um, having better consistent at bats and then to really clear one last night. Um, you know, I think what's been so impressive about G is just his focus and his intent and his purpose from the day he showed up in spring training about, you know, kind of the mission he's on and just kind of the his professionalism and his focus day in and day out, no matter what the result was of that day, has been really really something um, that's been admirable, the way he's gone about his business and the kind of teammate he's been. So um, to see him go out in that kind of atmosphere last night at Yankee Stadium, um, you know, and have, have results, uh, was pretty pretty cool to see. We have three more to start with Anthony. Aaron, the kind of night that Sanchez had defensively last night, does that give you even more confidence in him going forward? Um, yeah, I mean, but, you know, I've talked to you guys a lot about that question, obviously, over the last couple of weeks. And, and as I've said, I feel like there's been so much good back there that um, I felt like he's been very close to kind of having that complete game last night. And we saw it last night. I mean, he, he was absolutely a factor in, in helping contain and hold down a really good Oakland um, offense. And um, I felt like just the look he had from the time he got to the ballpark yesterday to really dive it in with the game plan and, and with Sevy, I thought they were clicking and and it, it's it's a huge factor for us and and really important for us um, that he plays at a high level behind the plate if we're going to get to where we want to go and and I feel he's capable of that and I, I feel like he got off to a great start. Sweeney and then George. Aaron, you defense very early last night for Andujar. Was that an all a product of the two plays he made, or can you see yourself doing it early enough in the game for us to learn? No, it was more um, kind of the kind of the plan, you know, last night as far as you know, if we had gotten to a certain point in the game and had a lead, it kind of just played out and he had hit um, 
you know, we hadn't had to make any other moves. So, so putting Etch in there and then, you know, having Walker behind if, if, if something went awry and he needed a hitter. Um, we just felt like in, a, in that situation where we had a little bit deeper bench for the wild card scenario, um, felt like we were going to be a little bit aggressive with that. Um, so that's kind of one of those things that you may see it some nights, middle, later part of the game. You may not see it. Um, but less to do about about those plays. Could you do it as early without the bench? Uh, we'll see. I mean, <clears throat> you know, the, the game will kind of dictate that and where we are in the lineup, score, uh, when guys hit, all those things. Who's in the pen? Just there's a lot of factors that go into to me making that kind of call. Last one from George. Jared, uh, considering your travel problems this uh, past season. What was the delay today? <laughs> Slow moving train. I actually drove up, so I was here. Um, but I guess it was a pretty slow moving train to just kind of, yeah, add to the uh, travel adventures of the 2018 Yankees. Uh, I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense for me to tell you that. <laughs> what would you say you want to focus on tomorrow? Uh, I want to focus on, on being aggressive and, and trusting my stuff and um, just continuing to kind of sort of do what I do and trust that that's going to be enough. Um, you know, that this game is another game. It's a big game, but I'm um, going to treat it like another one. And Andy? What, what's, Jay, what, what's history against a particular team mean to you when you've had a long career, like your, rec your career record against the Red Sox? Is it something you almost discard games when they were totally different personnel, or does it mean something, comfort in a ballpark versus a, an organization? And how much does that matter to you? I think it depends how you look at it. And I'm going to try to take positives from it, regardless of maybe what, what numbers say and, and what the team is. But, um, you know, maybe rely on some, some past experience and um, maybe some knowledge gained from that. But, um, you know, once you're out there, I'm just kind of competing. Uh, Meredith, Andy, if you would mind passing it to her. Jay, what does it mean to you to get the ball in game one, and how hostile do you think the environment will be tomorrow? I mean, it, it feels good. I, you know, um, I expect to go out and perform, and you know, I'm happy to have the ball for sure. Um, you know, these games, you know, I've learned since I came over here um, in the short while, it can be intense, and I certainly expect a lot more of that. Um, but to be honest, I don't put a ton of thought into that. I try to kind of block a lot of that part out of it. But um, I'm sure it'll be plenty loud. That's your right, Jay. From your perspective, I mean, you know this team well, and they know you extremely well as well. Do you think that, again, your opinion, that gives the pitcher an advantage, the hitter an advantage? Do you see one, one way or the other, or it's about execution on game day? Again, it's it's whatever way you want to take it. I think you know. I think if you look at general trends, probably seeing guys more often than not would start to benefit the hitter. But uh, at the same time, I think more often than not, it's about execution. So um, that's kind of going to be my focus: um, execution and um, you know, trusting my stuff. Uh, Brian in the middle. I guess just to follow up on that, is it a good thing or a bad thing that you just faced this team here in this building? And and what did you take from that start? Um, I, you know, I'm kind of going to put that out of my head. I don't, um, I don't know the answer to that really. Um, it kind of is what it is. We, I think, we were in a position where it made sense to, to do what we did, and um, you know, every game's different at the same time. So, it's whatever way. I'm just going to try to stay positive, and um, you know, probably not, not worry about that too much. Uh, Chrissy, to your left, Jay. When you have had success against a certain organization over the years. How much does confidence play into that going into a game against that team? It's a factor for sure. I mean, confidence and success feed off each other. And, um, you know, that's just in general, not really for one specific team. Um, you know, this is a team that won 108 games, and you don't see that very often. And it's a team that is probably as dynamic. Um, a team as there is in, in, in baseball. So, um, you know, I'm certainly aware of their capabilities and never take anything for granted. Um, so it's going to be fun. Uh, and the, uh, Dan right here, sir. 
Jay, how much value do you put on pat your own past playoff experience, and how much do you think you evolved as a as a big game type pitcher in the last three seasons? Um, I feel like my game's come a long way uh, in the last few years, especially um, early on from some of my previous kind of playoff experiences with Philadelphia, and um, you know I think this most recent one is with Toronto a few years back in 16 is more similar to the kind of pitcher that I am now. So um, I rely on that a little bit, but but again, to me, I'm trying to treat it as another game that's part of our season. Uh, I'm certainly aware of the ramifications of where we're at, but um, that's my focus is continuing the prep and just be ready on game day. That's, you know, that's supposed to be the fun day. Uh, Dana, right here. Jay, it seems like this is the game that the Yankees traded you for you for. You know, do you look at it that way? And is this what you thought of when when they got you, that Red Sox in the playoffs in a game one situation would be your spot? No, I don't, I don't think I thought about that coming over here. I think, um, you know, my, I think my thought was, you know, I was a uh, part of a piece that could potentially help them get where they wanted to be. I don't think you, I didn't think of it in terms of specifics. But uh, I'm certainly ha happy to have the ball tomorrow and uh, feel honored to have it. Jay, just in uh, general, uh, in your short experience as a Yankee, has this uh, been more fun than you expected? Has it, just has it been uh, just experienced in this for the last two months? Yeah, I mean, the last two weeks have been great. I think you don't know what to expect, but when you get traded to a contender who has a chance to play in October, that's that's why you're playing, and um, you got to take the positives and look at it as positive and. It's been fun being a part of that, and um, you know we look forward to keep going.